This is 200 pounds worth of Schleich that I'm going to be unboxing today. Hello friends and welcome to a very special video. Now this video is not sponsored, I'd just like to say that straight out, but what can I say? I was Christmas shopping and I kind of fell down a rabbit hole, as you do, and if you can't see in the background, those are Briar models. Now, Briars, I think, are the superior looking models. However, they tend to be a lot more expensive. And um, I do like Schleich, but I've never liked the Schleich enough to like start collecting. However, that was until I stumbled across the fantasy line of the Schleich horses, and I absolutely fell in love. So <laughs> I decided I was going to get an absolute bunch of Schleich horses and unbox it on camera. And so that's what we're doing today. And as you can see, See, by I assume I put it in the title, we're doing a giveaway of a Schleich thing. Now, the Schleich thing is actually in this box, but I'll have to point out which one's which thing I'm giving away. It's not the whole thing. So, I mean, this is for me, guys. But today we're going to be unboxing it. This is literally the first time I've done like a proper unboxing on this channel. Actually, no, it's not. I did a Star Stable unboxing. Anyway, here's a knife. Uh, this is what I'm going to be using to unbox this. Would you look at that? We've got two camera angles going. We've got my face cam and the box cam. So, hopefully, that works out. Now, I am terribly sorry if this video is a bit all over the place because, again, first time, first time a charm for everything. So, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into the box cutting, which I'm a bit nervous for because it says no cutting. It says pull open with side flaps, but I'm a rebel. Um, and I'm starting to actually think they were right. Hang on. Oh, now we've got somewhere. We've, 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 we're getting somewhere. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm actually really nervous because I spent, as you saw in the beginning, 200 pounds on this like, like haul, I guess. Um, I got it from a place called, what was it Toys and Education? Wait, where is this from? Toy, yeah, Toys and Learning Co. is where I got it from. And they were actually great because they actually have slight re reductions in price for Schleich models, whereas it would have been slightly more expensive to get it from like normal places, so that's quite nice. Uh, I'm not struggling to open this box. I'm terrified that this is going to turn into unboxing video gone wrong, Abigail Pinehaven loses a finger. Please be very careful with knives. If you don't know, I'm an adult, so I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to have knives. Uh, should I have knives is a different question. They call me Stabby Abby for a reason. Oh goodness. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if this is working. My weak gamer arms are kind of giving up on me. Oh, never mind. We've got we've got partially open. Now I think we just need to tackle this side. Okay. Oh goodness, I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't want to cut myself. Okay, we're just gonna. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. We've got it. We have we have lift off. No, we don't. One of the flaps is still closed. God, they like sealed this up as if somebody was gonna come take it from me. Hang on, I'm gonna have to move the box. <laughs> All right, there we go, okay. <laughs> I got it open finally, so now we can reposition everything. Okay, Ni knife time is over. I'm gonna put this away from myself so that I don't hurt myself. Okay, so I saw actually when I peeked open that the thing I'm giving away is actually this sneaky little peek here. Hopefully, actually, I'll grab this before anybody sees all my details. But oh my goodness, that looks like a Christmas haul and a half. That's so fun. So the cat's out of the bag, I guess. I'm giving away this. I'll show it to you in a moment when, when I start bringing everything out, but I think it will be easier for me to actually do this stuff before I touch this. So that's, that's kind of the plan. Uh, let me go ahead and fold that so it doesn't get in the way. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. I'm so, I'm like, ugh, I'm so excited. Right. I'm going to start with this one because why the heck not? I'm actually going to properly open them and I'll give you also like a close up post recording. So for right now, I'm just going to kind of hold it up. But as you can see, this is it in the box and we have so many more to go. I'm so excited. Right. Let's just bang these open. Are you supposed to leave tags on Schleich's like like, you know, as you can see in the back of the briars, I've left in the box. But are you supposed to leave the tags on to make them more, like, cool? Oh, this is it. Baylor, 
Bela? I don't know. That's the Schleich kind of line because there's like the horse club line, which is all the regular horses. And then there's this like fantasy horse line, as you can see here. This is a an absolutely gorgeous thing. I'm a bit gizzy to be honest. I feel like it's Christmas. Oh my goodness, this this thing is gorgeous. I mean, I, I couldn't help but literally pick up all of them, almost all of them in the series. But there's one in here that I'm super excited to see. So hopefully we'll get onto that in a minute. Um, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and put them, I guess here. You can't see them because of the box flap, but that's fine. There she is, she's on the floor. Not on the floor, on the desk. So this is another one. I actually, what did this one say? It doesn't actually say what like, type they were. I think this is called like the decorated Pegasus and I don't know much else. Um, can you see that I've clearly done my research for this video? I just, listen, I saw Pretty Ponies and I went and got Pretty Ponies. That's, that's essentially what happened. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this other one. This is a unicorn actually. And this is, this is actually funnily enough, my favorite color is pink, but this one was actually one of my maybe least favorites out of the haul because there's a purple one that goes with this one uh, that I love. I think this is, yeah, this is the mare and I think the other one's the, the stallion because some of them come in pairs. So this is an absolutely stunning mare. I'll give you a better like cinematic view of it, but she's absolutely stunning. I love the pink accents and I also particularly love these because they've got like this uh, pattern on the hindquarters and it makes me think of My Little Pony. I grew up on My Little Pony, so uh, ge Generation 3 specifically. So that reminds me a lot of that. Oh goodness, this one's gorgeous. I kind of wanted to do them in like the correct pairs, but I don't think they've come in the correct pairs. That's fine. Right, let's go ahead and unbox this one. Um, here we go, here's the third model that we've unboxed today. Goodness, the light isn't helping uh, this gal too much, but she's absolutely stunning. She's absolutely stunning. But <laughs> one of the main reasons I went for these models in particular is because they have glitter on them. And I can't say no to sparkly things, all right? I'm a little magpie and I can't say no to sparkly things. Here she is on the unboxing camera. Just gorgeous coloring. I mean, there was another one that I think I didn't actually pick up. There's like a stallion version of her. And uh, I think that they were just too similar for me to like warrant guessing the other one. knows if this video does well I might do a second one let's see if I can convince my uh, my bank to let me make another purchase like this <laughs> okay so this one is actually really interesting this is sea themed so here is goodness I don't know if these are this is the mare actually here she is on the unboxing cam and here she is oh the, the light kind of washes her out on this one but that's that's fine. This this one, uh, if you don't know, I actually have a phobia of fish and lizards as well, but th they're kind of connected in a way. And so fish horses have never been my thing. And I'll show you one later that I didn't think I'd ever get, but she's absolutely stunning. She has these gorgeous like pastel pinks and blues and purples, and she just has the most fabulous hair ever. that so far I think all of them apart from this decorated Pegasus have like something on their hindquarters like a cutie mark so I kind of enjoy that that's kind of fun that's that one I can see the really fancy ones have their own like box I don't know if you can see them in here but we also have oh this stunning girly so I think this one 
is actually the counterpart to the decorated Pegasus that I just pulled up. So this is like the counterpart. She didn't do much for me, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wasn't totally convinced, but at the end of the day, she's pretty. I think the reason she didn't excite me as much is because I'm not a huge fan of the color palette. The pink and the kind of beigey didn't go. And I'm also not a huge, huge fan of the, you see these little details? Because I'm pretty sure that Schleich are like factory made. They're obviously not handmade because I would make them a lot more expensive. Um, it, it kind of gives room for there to be bleeding. But to be honest, I don't see any bleeding on this. This is actually a really, really gorgeous model. I can't tell which camera's better to show on, whether it should be the unboxing cam or this one. But I have to say, I love the big, like, gorgeous mane. She's also got braids in her mane like I do. So maybe, maybe this gal's growing on me a little bit. I think she's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. I haven't totally done my research, I kind of just put it all in a basket and clicked purchase. But as you can see, you can see it slightly more clearly now. Uh, this is the box that we're going to be giving away, so stay tuned on how to win that. But our next little gal or guy is this one. Um, straight out of the box, I'm not convinced. I don't think I like this one as much as I did on the website. Let's have a closer look. Maybe I'll like them then but um, here they are. So I don't know what it is that I don't like as much about this one. I, I think the, the wings are absolutely stunning. The wings are really nice. They're almost translucent. I think it's the actual like horse itself, like the, the face. There's something about it that I'm just not, I'm just not into for some reason. It's still a gorgeous like model but I don't like this one as much, uh, half as much as the other ones. I don't know if I remember getting the counterpart to this one. Actually, maybe I did. Maybe this is the sunrise one. Oh no, I think that's that. Never mind. Oh, there's some, oh yeah, I forgot I got the little ones. So this is this one. I think I'll give this one like a three out of 10. sure if I'd want to collect that if I had known what it looked like before like if I saw it in a shop I'm not totally sure if I if I'd pick it up but that's fine so I think oh my gosh I can see it. I can see the thing that I was most excited for so this goodness I'm gonna have to this is the start of our oh my goodness this is stunning I got now, I think I have to explain to you because I don't want this mermaid. This like figurine, I'm not a huge fan of. It's the horse that I was absolutely dying to get. I think it's stunning. I love the fact that it's a, it's actually a fish horse. And as I told you before, I'm actually afraid of fish, but this does not spark fear. <laughs> this is just absolutely stunning. I saw this on the website and I was like, give me. Now, I don't know if I necessarily want to separate the horse and the rider. I think I'll leave it for now because it comes in this like lovely shelf stand box that I think I'll be keeping for these ones because these are obviously like the fancy ones, right? Rather than the other ones came in like plastic packaging. Um, but I'm not sure, should we do the, the, the ponies? I don't know. Maybe I'll actually pull out these fancy ones first. So this one is, doesn't have a name. Oh, it just has numbers. Oh, that's kind of a shame. Okay, so it doesn't actually have uh, like a name, but I'm pretty sure it did on the website. I think this is like, oh wait. Oh, that's really strange. This is the counterpart to this one. Yes, and I remember I like this one better on the website. It looks more bluey in person, 
But it's strange how this one came in like the packaging, but this one just came in like a plastic bag. Is that normal? I don't know if that's normal, but that's what we have. Um, so this is the one that I was, I think I was most excited for. Definitely far more blue in person. Uh, I wanted it to be a bit purpler, but I think she's lovely. Um, I think I will be keeping the stands for these ones just for a little bit. I also like that there's no, well, I think other than the bands, there are no plastic on here, which I really like, which is one thing the Briar doesn't do, but then the Briar horses are much more breakable in transit. So I do like this one very, very much. Let's go ahead and have a look at this gorgeous gal. She's been trapped. It looks like, I don't know if that's meant to be there, but it is. Uh, should we try and... It looks like it's glued down to... Is it? No, it isn't. Hang on. Let me try and release this poor girl. Oh, there we go. Right, she's been released. I assume that was just to hold her head up in transit. Maybe they were worried that it was going to come down. I don't know. But here she is. Now, this is like the moon one, I'm pretty sure. I feel stupid because it doesn't actually say their name, but they had names on the website, which is really strange. That has happened. She's stunning though. Um, I can see a slight blemish. There's like a line along, I don't even know what material that is, but it's like the plastic, I suppose, where, I don't know. I mean, it's on both wings actually, where there's a line where it connects. That's a bit of a shame. I wouldn't have minded so much, I think, if they had actually put a color on this kind of like transparent section just to help cover that if that was like a, an unavoidable manufacturing thing. But yeah, she's actually stunning. I'm actually quite impressed with the paint job on these. I feel, I don't, I could be wrong, but I feel like they're slightly better than the normal shrikes, but do correct me if I'm wrong. But here she is, she's absolutely stunning. I'll be keeping her in the box as well. And our final box gal is this one. So, oh my goodness. So he's also got, he's also trapped. We have to release him. Let's go ahead and try and wiggle. Ah, oh, here we go. We got them out. Great. Okay. So here we are. His, this one, I feel like, I don't know. How do I feel about this one? This one is really nice, but I feel like it looks wet. I'm not sure if it's like coming off on the camera, but there's almost like a slight gloss on the horse and there's a bit of bleeding here on the moon as well, which is a bit sad, but I, I mean, there's also like a bit of blemishes on the tail. I don't know why, I'm not a huge fan of this one as much as I maybe thought I would be, but it's still really nice, still stunning. Like I'd love that for a collection. I so far has, have absolutely loved these horses. Weirdly, I wish the horn was a bit pointier. Like it looks a bit dull. I don't, I know that this is like more for the younger audience. This is five to 12 here. I think I'm a bit out of the age range there, but that's fine. I do wish it had a little bit more of a point to it. It kind of looks a bit bendy, but that's fine. I'll definitely do like a whole show at the end, but this is the fun stuff. These are the bags with the little folds in them. So <laughs> originally I was not gonna get these, but then they reminded me so much of my little ponies that I absolutely had to get them. I didn't get all of them because there was a couple that I don't, actually didn't like the look of, but these two are actually the ones I think I was most excited for. It's kind of hard to see because of the glare on the lights, but let's go ahead and crack these bad boys open. Let's start with this one. Okay, oh goodness, I didn't rip anything, thank goodness. Oh, here we are. Oh, she's in there, she's wedged. All right, so, oh my goodness, she's so cute. <gasps> That's adorable. 
She's so cute. So she's got like almost like a rainbow hair. There is a little bit of bleeding on the on the back there, but it doesn't look too bad. And on one side, she's got a little birthday cake. Oh my goodness, she reminds me of the My Little Pony so much, especially like with the hair. That's absolutely stunning. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a huge fan of like the foal models on anything, including briars, just because I'm not a huge fan of having smaller things because I'm more likely to lose them. They're more likely to just kind of get lost, get banged around. Um, and they're not great for storage either because they get lost and trampled, which is not great. But you know what? If I can keep these together, I think they'll be perfectly fine. She's stunning though. I absolutely love her. So that was one of the foals. And we get this like little, a brochure. Oh, it's like so you can collect them all. I think that's cute. It's not going to work on me though. <laughs> I know I didn't get this one and I don't think I got this one because I didn't like the jelly look. I, I don't know. I prefer them to look like My Little Ponies than like little jelly horses. Here we go. Here's Marshmallow. I'm super excited to open her. She, she looks adorable. She Again, she looks a lot like, I want to say Minty from My Little Pony. I know I shouldn't be... um like comparing them so much, but I can't help it. Okay, so she's, oh, hang on, let me, let me just, can you kind of see, would you say that's really similar? I think she looks more like white on here. Actually, she's coming up on the camera a little better. I'm not sure though, she looks more white than blue. That's a shame. She's still gorgeous though. I absolutely love the like cotton candy sort of hair, even though I'm supposed to say candy floss because I'm, from the UK, but that's fine. I've been Americanized. It's too late for me now. <laughs> Here she is, she's absolutely wonderful. I love the little cutie marks. I shouldn't call them cutie marks, but I'm going to call them cutie marks because I think they're adorable. That's so cute. I'm gonna put them next to each other so that you can kind of see. So these are the same poses and I believe I got all the folds in the same poses. Uh, now generally, I'm not a fan of conga lines, but I'll happily make a conga line of foals. I actually love this mold. I think this mold is wonderful. Again, I don't know how Schleich make their horses. I know how Briar makes their horses. I don't know if they do molds. I don't know, but I've said that now, so it's too late to go back. So we've got two more little horses. Let me just move these out of the way and then we'll get on to the, the big old prize. So we've got two more left. I think I actually said I didn't get this one, but clearly I did. <laughs> um, again, they're the same like position, so, um, or pose I should say. However, this, these guys actually have different hair, I've just realized. So maybe it's a good idea that I've had them together so that I can kind of compare them. They're almost like surprise blind bags without the surprise, which I don't think I hate. So this one, surprisingly, has more purple hair than the picture and I don't like it as much as the other two. As you can see, actually, yeah, they're the, they're the same like body, but different hair. Um, and I think slightly different faces as well. I actually prefer these ones, this little unicorn to this, uh, like, I mean, it's the same, it's the same mold. It's just got different hair, but I actually prefer this one for some reason. I don't know why. I still think they're super cute though. Uh, don't mind getting those at all. I think those were, $3.99 each. So if you were looking to get like a mini collection, definitely that wouldn't be a bad idea. So let's have a look at the last pony here. Okay, so this is like very orange. This is a very orange. I think it's some kind of sweet. Um, I don't know. I don't like this one. I think this one is one of my least favorites. I do like orange, but I just, I'm not a huge fan of this too much. Yeah. That's fine though. I mean, I've got like a, I feel like horses, if you don't like certain horses, they'll look better in a collection, if you if that makes sense, which is capitalism to a T. Um, but now I've got all those foals. So this is the big prime glory that we're actually gonna be giving away. So let's get this out of the box and we can actually get the box out of the way now. Let me just move this. And by that, I mean, throw that over there. Um, right, let's actually clear my space a little bit so you can see what I'm looking at. <laughs> right, okay, so here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it around this way and flip it so that you can see. So <laughs> what we've got here is, I believe it's a caravan. It comes with a horse, what looks like a squirrel, 
and a little like play person that can be uh, posed. And it comes with this play set at the back as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so this is the horse club. If you wanna see kind of what's in it, here it is, oh goodness. So that's, I'm pretty sure that would be pretty bad if it doesn't come with that stuff, but I'm like 99% sure that's what it comes with. Uh, there's the back, Ooh, let's move it around. And here's the front, but this is what we're giving away. This playset is worth about 50 pounds, I think. To enter this giveaway, please make sure that you're 18 or have parental permission, because unfortunately, I will have to be dealing with your home address, so make sure that a trusted parent or guardian knows that you're entering this giveaway, and I'll be in contact with them rather than you directly. So, to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is go to the link down below and enter in your email, or if you're under 18, a parent's email. Entries are open right now and will close on December 25th. Hurry and good luck. So, that's pretty much the unboxing. Um, I think I'll do some vanity shots and maybe, maybe, oh, we'll do like a glam montage. I feel like that will be fun. And that is pretty much it. I think if I was to choose a favorite, what would I choose? Hmm. I have to admit this like blue, like seahorse is literally a seahorse. Why didn't I think of that? I didn't think to say that when I unboxed it, but this literal seahorse is wonderful. I think the design on it is absolutely glorious. Don't like the, the little, mermaid too much she's kind of cool but not as cool as the horse uh so yeah that believe it or not is 200 pounds worth of schleich now the type of schleich that i got which is like the fantasy line is slightly more expensive than the horse club stuff uh when you're not getting sets of course i mean like individual models because i think that they have a slightly more care and um they have like obviously wings and horns and all of that stuff that you actually have to be really careful not to break um so they're slightly more expensive but yeah that is the unboxing video. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I did have to absolutely take apart my office to do all this because uh, the cameras don't fit normally when I've got my keyboard and whatnot. So yeah, let me know in the comments, are you a Schleich collector or a bra collector? And if so, which one are you and why? So I think I, I'm now technically both, but I do prefer bra for like general models, but um, I do love this fantasy line off of Schleich. So that's really exciting. Also, you can find my playthrough of the Schleich like a game on my channel as well. That's gonna be coming out uh, shortly, so that'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm like, how do I end a video where I'm not sitting down in a game? This is new to me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so that is it for the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments because I might do another one. Maybe I'll do a briar one. Although I don't know if my bank account can support that because briars are so expensive and difficult to get in the UK if you didn't know. Schleicher are much easier to get in the UK. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.